This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. We have Jason Volario. Volario. Whoa. Uh, does that also affect the cap through uh, with the option? Yes, of course, bro. Everything affects the cap. Every salary that you do that year coming up, not now or next year, your fifth-year option will then affect you in that fifth year. Yeah. But you can renegotiate that and kind of uh, loosen it up and free up some money. You can get 12 of the $22 million and give it to them as a signing bonus and then break it up on the back end of the contract. You can free yourself. There's always ways of freeing up money to loosen that up. But I think the key is to lock it down just to make sure because – We're so quick to think about bad luck. But we're we're not quick enough to think about good luck. Why is that? Why do we do that to ourselves? We had the good luck of actually competing with Skylar Thompson in a beaten down team final year of this of, of final game of the season. We had good luck that we found Cater Kohu. We had good luck that they found um Brandon, uh, uh, what's it called? The um, shell at right tackle. We had good luck that they found Robert Jones. Right? So why can't we have good luck that maybe Tua stays healthy? Tua figures it out, gets rid of the football early. That's what I love. We love to set ourselves up and think about all the bad shit. And then we never give ourselves a chance to say, hey, man, you know, the good stuff could happen too, okay? You might find a diamond. Oh, my God, we got to trade Minka. Oh, shit, dude. He can't get along with Flo. Now we got to trade him. We got to trade one of the best safeties in the draft. Where the hell do we go from here? Javon Holland. It's the, it's, you know, it's hilarious. You find Zach Sealer from the street. You know, good things can happen, right? Mostert ran with more power than I, I don't think I've ever seen him run with in San Francisco in his career. He had me pumped at times how he was breaking tackles. So we just set ourselves up to beat ourselves up all the time. And yet we never think about some of the good things that could possibly happen. Hey, listen, I love Mike McDaniel's mind. I love the person. Obviously, he looks like a really good dude overall. Players respond to him. He's just got to fix his game day coaching. Well, I'm I'm counting on him to fix that next year. I think he's a really smart guy, and I think he'll streamline it. I think he will be much more efficient next year when it comes to getting plays in, having his team prepared. I think he'll get better at that. Why, why am I going to torture myself and think that it's going to be terrible? Why? A lot of you never even thought that this offense was going to be this explosive as it was. And then here you are. Salvan Ahmed. It's like the little gift that keeps on giving. You know, every time you called upon him, every, every time this year, the dude rose to the occasion. I just love how we love to end up on the negative end and we never give our chance ourselves a chance to say, hey, you know, this could be a good thing, right? It could be a good thing that he has to prove himself to get that contract to a tongue of Iloa. And if he has to prove himself and if you pick up the option, you're at least paying less money in his fifth year than you normally would in a normal contract. If you don't pick up that fifth year option and he balls out in year four now you're faced in giving him that big ass contract right on from year five 
it, it's just one of those things that I don't understand. And we just, why do you just beat yourselves up for no reason at all? And isn't it better in a way, look, if it's unrealistic that like unrealistic to think that certain things can happen, I understand that, but it's not unrealistic to think that, that Tua can figure things out and get rid of the ball quickly and give him, give himself plenty of chances to avoid extra injuries and things like that. It's just kind of hilarious how, how fans will torture themselves. All right.